Well, it's a sensational that he keeps hasn't having that desire, that level of professionalism. Saiz and Iago were going to find it tough against those. So many, many battles all around the pitch. Can Al Nasser are the favourites. You expect them to come out and, and, and get a couple of goals, but let's see. Al Shabab, the oldest club in this city but not experiencing the glory right now at Manchester United. And the man on the left of your picture is Roman Seiss, who had quite a number of years. Well, a title is still in Al Nasser's sights, but they absolutely know that they cannot slip up now. We won the last league meeting 4-0. They beat Al-Shabaab in the King's Cup 5-2 only a couple of months ago. As Diallo hears the whistle against him, the wiggle of the finger with Sil Pereira will be pleased with the way that these first three minutes at least have gone for his team. Won't necessarily be too happy with that state back on the 22nd of February 1727. And Al Shabab trying to make a quick start here as well. Oh. Here's Taliska. He didn't take it with him, but goodness me, it nearly paid off anyway for Brozovic. And the fingertips of the goalkeeper getting it away. It just falls down. You see, there is a slight deflection. The goalkeeper just because he didn't attend a team camp ahead of a national meetup. The ball is cleared away. Settling nicely now, aren't they, Al Nasser? Swung in again by Tellez and a good taste is Alex Tellez. He's on this one as well for Al Nasser. That trusty left foot in towards the near post. Five they've managed. But they are on the front foot here. Carrasco's little pullback. Tellez. Tellez slipping it in. Mane taking it on. Mane scoring. And it won't count because the flag is up against the Senegalese. Yeah, such a clinical counter. What about his finish? He's gone and taken up a position in front of Abdullah as well. Carrasco's gone short for Rakitic. Rakitic has had a go. 37 years old now, the goalkeeper. Carrasco by Carrasco, getting the ball back, spinning away from his man, and then the shot tipped away by Abdullah who's made a very smart save down at his near post there. Getting it out towards Taliska. Taliska looking for the return. Was he caught? So the Brazilian Alex Tellez placing the ball down for the Al Nasser corner, which was Chastovic. Taliska, a deflection on the way. It's going to be a corner. Just in position. Let's go. And this is Habib Diallo, Carlos Jr's in the middle. It's not Kim from Brozovic with a bit of interest. And then hit by Mane, and what did that hit on its way through? Because there are multiple players in yellow and blue who feel that that should be a penalty. A Ronaldo penalty. A Ronaldo piece of perfection. And for the great man, a 750th goal in club competitions. And that tells you everything. 750, remarkable. He just steps up, that little sort of shutter and waiting. And there's the audacity just to pull it into the side netting. Look at his celebrations. Look what it means to him. Still hungry, still with desire at his age. Just kissing that ball and that's wonderful technique. He makes it look easy, but it's not. That just delay, that weight, and then that's a wonderful penalty. Dude, but again, we'll see something different. Ronaldo, worth a go, worth a go. We'd have been talking about one of the goals of the season had Cristiano Ronaldo in itself, especially for a player who plays in his position. Teliska, as Diallo, has he got that timing right on his run? Shot closed down by Laporte, there is that offside flag again up against Habib Diallo. Across the front post. It's another clever ball by Rakitic and the goalkeeper's come a long way, but it was the right decision from Abdullah because he has snared it from under the feet of Carlos Jr. It's going OK for Abdullah, there's a bit of pressure on him. Start of the season. Now Harvey getting onto the ball and trying to fizz it across towards Carlos Jr. Who is on the pieces on the other side. But it is with Carrasco anyway, who has arguably been the best player for Carrasco spreading things. Al Yami getting his head up, seeing what's in the box. Laporte very settled. And that's the supporters right now enjoying Derby Day. Brozovic with the corner. Taliska. Taliska looking for Mane and behind 
for an Al Nasser corner from the boot of Nadir Al Sharaf. So the home debutant over the corner, the Croatian Rakitic. Carlos Jr. peeling one way. Carrasco collecting, the initial touch was excellent and covering was Lejami to put it away. Carrasco's looked good, hasn't he? Got some great positions, a little cute turn on the press. Tellez, nice bit of height on it, Taliska beaten to it by size. Yami, claimed by Abdullah. This Al Nasser free kick, which Alex Tellez has got plenty of whip on. Ronaldo is the one who is penalised, I think. Looks like that's Carlos Jr. who was on the end of it. Good delivery again. It's a key area. Lab. Al Harbi, lovely pass. Now, was there contact? That's the question. Yes, there was. It is a penalty. It's our second spot kick of the game. It's Laporte, the offender, who has tripped Carlos Jr. It's a good ball in behind. Laporte just gets the wrong side. Is there an offside? In the derby, it's Carrasco. It's 1-1. And it's equally as good as Ronaldo's. And now it is the home supporters' chance to rejoice in a big moment. That's amazing. Another penalty decision. That's took a long period of time. But he's played well. He's tried to set a tone. He's tried to make things happen. He was calm. Back on the very first day of December. This is Taliska. He's got it in. He's got a goal for Al Nasser. 61 seconds into the second half. Eeks past Al Absi at his near post. And the Brazilian with his 12th of this Saudi Pro League season. Al Nasser regained the advantage. Yeah. Nimble centre forwards. And again, Al Shabab getting in. And the ball is right between. Diallo with the pullback. This is really good. It's an excellent save. I wonder whether Carrasco should feel he should have another for this evening. Oh, he's got two. Big. It's another good try and the goalkeeper spills it. He's in trouble. Oh, my goodness me. Carlos Jr's lost his footing. I think the flag's up for offside anyway, which will partially spare the blushes of the Al-Shabaab forwards. But he will chase it. The goalkeeper's come an awful long way. And in the end, was required to use head rather than hands to ensure safety. Ronaldo's got on with things quickly, along with Mane. And Ronaldo was stumbling and tumbling inside El Nasser's box. Carrasco's corner is deep. It wasn't the worst corner. And the goalkeeper was slaloming from post to post there to try and get size of the ball, which has eventually bounced away for a goal kick. Well, that is Toyd getting forward from that left-back position so far. Rakitic is part of it now as well. Otavio... And right through the middle, Brozovic, who lacks the power in the execution. Disappointing. Castro had a, a very short caretaker spell in charge. Oh, that is almost the perfect pass for Aliami. It just whizzed in front of his eyes. A spin by Carrasco, who shifted it and has sent it not far away at all from Abdullah's goal. It's great ball, that turns exceptional. Pulls it back onto his right foot. It's going to be... Got it. Teed up by Al Yami. And a brilliant save from Abdullah to deny Cuellar. The chances are coming thick and fast, aren't they? Carrasco! Laporte spread himself well. And celebrates the moment like he's just scored a goal. Well, how he doesn't do it. I said it with anybody, it would be him. Good. Keep possession, but they haven't managed to hang on to it. And here is Habib Diallo, and now it's 2-2. It's Carlos Jr. And it is nothing more than Al-Shabaab deserve. For the second time tonight in Riyadh, they have pulled themselves back into the game. It's all about the pressure, momentum. Unless they don't clear the lines, they don't get it out of the penalty area.
It's here now, that uncertainty as they just lose the ball, a reverse pass, and then the run right through the centre. Great pass right across the face. It's bypasses the goalkeeper. Carlos Jr. in the right place as he sees it. Finally come back into it. Tolisco, he's already got one tonight. He's now got another one. The ever-reliable Brazilian. Perhaps salvaging the game and possibly finally getting Al Nasser over the line. A double for him tonight in Riyadh. And is that enough to keep Al Nasser's title charge active? Well, it looks like he's got every chance. It's a wonderful pass. You can't get the wrong side of Tosca. Just gets in. 